Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today, today I'm super excited because I have a haul. I got some newbies. <laughs> so if that interests you, please keep watching. <laughs> So before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you decided to come back, big up your whole self. Truly, truly appreciate your continued support. Let's go right into the lippy. So today on my lips, I have this from Fenty and this is the MVP. So it's like an orangey red lippy. Um, she has it in different formulations, but um, yeah, this is the one I decided to wear today. And for my scent of the day, I have this bougie fragrance from Clive Christian. And this is Crab Apple Blossom. Now, this one has been in my collection for about four months or so. I've worn it once. Something weird is pulling on my skin and I think it's the C notes. So it opens with C notes. There's bergamot, there's apple blossom. In the middle, there's some rhubarb. And in the base, there's some sandalwood. So it's a fruity, um, kind of woody fragrance. The C notes, I think that's what's bothering my skin a little bit. But I'm giving her a try, you know. It's it's not a cheap fragrance, so I'm not ready to let her go yet. So yeah, this is my scent of the day, and it is Crab Apple Blossom from the house of Clive Christian. Okay, let's get into the fragrances. Dim, excited, kid in a candy store, new stuff. So I have, uh, I don't know, maybe about 10. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't counted. But I am saving my favorite from this haul for last. So if you want to see what my favorite is, please stay till the end. So the first fragrance I want to talk about is um, this fragrance here from the House of Oud. And this one is Bon Bon Pop. Now this fragrance is a parate. I love it. So this one was launched this year in 2023. It's like a gorgeous summer spring a gourmand fragrance um there's white peach there's coconut there's brown sugar this fragrance is mesmerizing it's soft and it feels like when i spray it on my skin when i wear it it just feels like candies just dancing all over my skin that's the best way i can describe it Mm, very inviting gives me about six hours of wear in the warm weather um, I don't think it'll push through honestly I don't think it's a fragrance I would push through in cooler weather but yeah new to the collection I think I mentioned her already um, but this is Bon Bon Pop from the House of Oud and y'all the bottle just give the bottle some love because <laughs> the bottle is a gorgeous Okay, my next fragrance is from the house of Penhaligon, and this one is called The Favorite. Now, The Favorite was launched in the year 2020, so it's not a new fragrance to the market, but it's absolutely new to me. This fragrance is a powdery, feminine, yet sparkling fragrance. There's violet in here, there's Irish, there's freesia, and all these florals just dry down to a very creamy sandalwood base. I enjoy this fragrance. Mm -hmm. It gives me about four to five hours on the skin. It wears closer to my skin. So I think this is a fragrance, that, fragrance that's very, very appropriate for the office, for church, for you know places where you don't wanna offend anyone with the fragrance. But anyways, it's sweet and it's just powdery and it's super feminine. So this is the favorite from the house of Penhaligon. Next up on the list is a gorgeous summer fragrance. But for me in Florida, it's a gorgeous nine months of the year fragrance. And the fragrance I speak of is this one right here, Leisure and Pad Paradise from the house of Simone Andrielli. Did I say that right? No, I didn't. Andrioli. <laughs> this fragrance here, 
Mm. It is a sweet mix of tropical fruits. So you get coconut, papaya, pineapple, and then they dry down to like this woody base. On my skin, it gives me about seven hours on, on, on the skin. Um, I overspray. <laughs> but I was like super surprised of the longevity of this fragrance because of the nature of the fragrance. But yeah, it transports you to a, just a really tropical destination. It's sweet, it's fruity, and it's just a really, really enjoyable fragrance. So yep, this is Leisure in Paradise from the house of Simone Andreoli. This is my only Simone Andreoli fragrance, but there are a couple that I'm testing, so stay tuned. Next up is a fragrance from the house of Mancera, and this one is called Tonka Cola. So Tonka Cola was launched in the year 2022. It is a warm, spicy fragrance. Now, in this fragrance on my skin, the stars of the show are the cinnamon and the nutmeg. I do get a hint of that Coca-Cola note, but, you know, it's more towards the middle of the fragrance. Now, then the fragrance just dries down to like a sweet, powdery vanilla. Very interesting fragrance. I blind bought this fragrance um, from listening to Veronica says and I'll link her channel down below the way she described it I was like yeah this is a must-have and I'm happy I have it it's like a really playful fragrance to me um, spicy warm I don't think it's great for really hot weather um, I wore it it gave me <laughs> it's Mancera so it gave me eight plus hours on the skin and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it so yep this is Tonka Cola from the house of Mancera. Next up is a fragrance from the house of Maison Crevelli, and this is Hibiscus Mahajad. So before I say anything about this fragrance, just know, no, this is not a safe blind buy. And I repeat, not a safe blind buy. <laughs> I blind bought it because I like to live on the edge. But now this fragrance to me is a sweet, syrupy, dense, kind of like hibiscus mint tea. That's that's the best way I can explain it on my skin. Now, this is this fragrance is from one of my favorite perfumers, Quentin Biche. Um, you know, he's to me he he can do no wrong. <laughs> However, this fragrance right here is something that you have to wear in colder weather. It's not something that I can pull out right now in the heat in the in Florida or any anywhere that's hot. This is not a fragrance for hot weather. Now, there's hibiscus, there's rose, there's mint, there's leather. I don't get that leather note on my skin, but I do get a hint of rose when 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 I wear it, but and like I said, a, a, like a hint of mint. So it's like you're drinking a really sweet um, hibiscus tea. Beast mode fragrance. You need only about two sprays <laughs> to last forever on the skin. When I wore this fragrance and I did venture out wearing it, I only sprayed it twice and I got compliments, turned heads, what are you wearing? Because it's a really unusual fragrance. But it's not for everyone so like i said it's not a fragrance that you should blind buy get your nose on it they have samples everywhere so yeah great fragrance but i have to let it sit and wait for a colder weather to enjoy it so this is hibiscus mahajat from the house of maison crevelli next up we have a fragrance that's going to be way easier to wear <laughs> way easier to wear and this is goddess by the house of from burberry so this is burberry goddess it just launched um this month so it launched in 2023 and it's just like a really pretty vanilla like when i spray it on i get that um i get vanilla and i get a hint of ginger it claims to have um lavender in the opening but I don't really get the lavender until the dry down, which is, you know, that's what my skin pulls. So it's like um, a vanilla fragrance. So when I spray it, when I wear it, I feel like it's like 
you know, like if you're drinking something vanilla or you have vanilla on your skin and then someone is in the back somewhere burning, burning like a candle with lavender in it. So there's a slight, you know, aromatic quality to the fragrance. But to me, it's a, just a pretty vanilla fragrance. There's three types of vanilla here. Vanilla in the top. I think it's vanilla caviar in the middle and then another type of vanilla in the dry down. Now this fragrance for me, I'm gonna let it sit because with vanillas, when you let it sit and sit and macerate, they get better. So right now it gives me about six hours on the skin. Again, it's not a, a groundbreaking fragrance. It's something different from Burberry. I don't have anything from Burberry that smells like that. You know, I'm a Burberry herd girl. So yeah, I'm really happy to have her her in my collection and this is Burberry Goddess from the house of Burberry. Next up is a really fun fragrance and this one is called Pink Me Up from the house of Artelier de Ors. Now this fragrance is so feminine, flirty, sparkly, just a fun fragrance. There's a note of champagne, there's a note of blackberry, so it's like you're drinking a blackberry mimosa if that's a thing. But it's just really flirty, fun, uplifting, bright. There is patchouli in here, but it's a clean patchouli. It's nothing that's dirty or earthy. It's just like a really fun feminine fragrance. And yeah, I know y'all have seen this bottle, these bottles. This is just, the bottles are everything. <laughs> yep, pink me up, you shake the bottle, and yeah. Very, very fun, flirty fragrance. Gives me about five hours on the skin. Didn't get any compliments when I wore it, but I enjoyed it because it was just like you were on your tippy toes and you just, da, 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 you know, just having a good time. So, yep, this is Pink Me Up by the house of Artelier de Force. All right, so the next fragrance I have here is from the house of Liquid Imagineers, and this is Dom Rosa. What is it? Melissime? This is the Dom Rosa Intense. <laughs> so I went all the way in with this one. Another blind buy, but I might, I may warn you, I am warning you, this is not a safe blind buy. Now, unlike Pink Me Up that I just spoke about, this champagne note in the opening is strong. This is a strong champagne opening there's also pear in the opening but all i get is a strong strong champagne now <laughs> when i got this fragrance um i opened it in the car my guy was driving i opened it i sprayed it he's like oh my gosh that smells like <laughs> that smells like the wino on the corner <laughs> i said be quiet give it time you know let it dry down it's like a sexy rose fragrance um, yeah, he wasn't having it. He did not like this fragrance on first spray. Me, um, I find it to be a sexy rose. It's not your grandma's rose. It's a very different, a sexy rose. There's some woody notes in the dry down. So there's like, it's like a rose forward, <laughs> boozy, woody fragrance. Now, <laughs> Don't wear this to work, y'all. Don't wear this to work <laughs> because they'll definitely give you a breathalyzer test. Because that, again, that champagne opening is strong. Does it die down? It does die down a little bit, but you can still really get it in the base on my skin. So yeah, this is Dom Rosa, the intense. I did smell the regular one when I went to Dubai. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't pick it up. But I said, just, just let me go all in. <laughs> And that I did. Not a safe blind buy, but it's a sexy, boozy rose. So this is Dom Rosa, the intense, from the house of Liquid Imagineers. Next up, I have another fragrance from the house of Mancera. And this fragrance is called Roses Greedy. This fragrance was launched in 2012, so it's definitely not a new fragrance, but it's new to me. So this is like a sweet, um, very crowd-pleasing, um, soft, feminine fragrance. There's black currant, there's peach, there's sugar, there's vanilla, there's rose, and there's some jasmine. I don't get the jasmine on my skin. The jasmine is kind of like taking a back seat and letting the rose do its thing. It's a very 
safe feminine fragrance. I would say it's really safe for the office. Um, it's not offensive and like I said very crowd pleasing. So it's just like a pretty rose fragrance. It's I feel like it's a rose that anybody can wear even if you don't really like rose. Yeah. It's not like a you know rose gets a bad rap sometimes for being dated you know for dom rosa i said that's not your grandma's rose because it isn't and this one i don't feel that way either i love the bottle i love the gradient and the fragrance is very pretty now in terms of longevity it's mancera gives gave me about eight plus hours on the skin and then after about the ninth hour it did become like a skin scent you can still smell me but you would really have to be in my circle in my little bubble so yep this is roses greedy from the house of mancera next up we have a fragrance from the house of goldfield banks australia and this is called ingenious ginger now this fragrance to me first of all i love ginger and fragrance this is their newest release this was just launched in 2023 there's ginger flower, there's magnolia, there's vanilla in here, but this is such an uplifting fragrance. So it opens with a burst of bergamot and that, so that uplifts the fragrance, it makes it happy, and then it's played up with that spicy ginger. The floors in this fragrance, the floors are in the background. They're playing, they're playing a background role. So this ginger, compared to the other ginger fragrances in my collection, like Twilly, or um, Ruby Red from the House of Oud. This one is different. This one is more sparkling because you know with Twilly, you get more ginger and tuberose. I love Twilly, it's one of my favorites. But this ginger is just really, again, it's just uplifting, just bright, it's bright. And to me, it's bright throughout the fragrance and I truly, truly enjoy this. This one is a really great fragrance for this time of year. Again, it's light, it's uplifting. I sprayed it here and I love it. I, you have to love ginger. If you don't love ginger and fragrance, stay away from ingenious ginger because it is, it is definitely a ginger forward fragrance. Again, so this is ingenious ginger from the house of Goldfield and Banks. Next up is a fragrance from the house of Gucci and I spoke about this fragrance already on the channel. So um, you can check that out. But this is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. So this is like, um, to me, it's just like a, a fruity floral fragrance. Um, to me, the Magnolia is more so in the background than anything else. Um, and I get that dewberry, giving it more of like a grape Kind of like a grape Fanta Accord. Um, you know, there's Magnolia Essence, Dewberry Accord, and Patchouli Essence. The patchouli in this fragrance, it's there because it dries down and you get a little bit of greenness, but it's not an off-putting patchouli. So if you don't like patchouli, it's okay. Now, this fragrance is fruitier than the others in the line. So there's gorgeous Gardenia and then there's gorgeous jasmine those two to me are more floral while this one is a bit more fruity this one performs better than the other two this one gave me five and a half six hours on the skin where the others probably gave me about four hours so yep this is gucci flora gorgeous magnolia a very pretty not brown groundbreaking fragrance it's nice it's light it's airy it's appropriate for work church all those places brunch or whatever but yeah um i love the bottles from these i love the bottles like i said in my other video they need to come out with a yellow one which is gonna be named gucci flora gorgeous hibiscus because i hibiscus is my favorite flower and yellow is my favorite color you heard gucci you heard <laughs> so <laughs> gucci flora gorgeous magnolia okay last but certainly not least the Dandada of this fragrance haul is this girl right here from Navitas Perf Parfums with AI the Great Ambrosia Imperial. Listen, this fragrance is everything. 
the words, the, the, the adjectives they use to describe this fragrance is sexy, seductive, and captivating. And I absolutely, undoubtedly agree. This right here is the most unique banana-based fragrance that I've smelled. I don't really like bananas in fragrances. I like bananas to eat, but I don't even like the smell of banana. But this here, different. So I don't know if y'all know, but you know, reading up and, and all that, ambrosia is the food and nectar of the gods. And let me tell you, this is the fragrance of the gods. AI and the perfumer did their thing. Mm. This fragrance is sweet all the way through, all the way through. So there's banana in the opening. There's uh, there's a there's a note of Devana, Devana which is kind of like a green note. Um, there's saffron in the base, but this is a it's gourmand leaning, but not a literal gourmand because I really don't like I don't enjoy foodie fragrances. This one right here, this one right here is like, it's boozy because there's a, there's a note of rum. It's sweet, it's sexy, and then that saffron, oh my gosh, this fragrance. And to top it off, gave me about nine hours on the skin, no lie. The thing lasts and lasts. I know, I know I'm tardy for the party with this fragrance, but guess what? I'm here. I'm still here. If you enjoy sweet fragrances that are gourmand leaning, but not all the way gourmand, this is your girl. This fragrance is a masterpiece. If somebody doesn't like this fragrance, I don't know why. They, they, may, they may not be into sweet fragrances, but this is so well blended and so well balanced that yeah she's gonna be she's gonna be in my collection she is going to be in my collection forever i absolutely enjoy this fragrance and this is my favorite fragrance of all the fragrances that i spoke about in this haul this is ambrosia imperial from the house of navitas x AI the Great here on YouTube. Great job, girl. Great job. <laughs> okay, so we've come to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was really exciting to share my new um, finds with you. <laughs> Most of them were blind buys, to tell you the truth. I don't know, man. I need, I, I need, to, I need to stop. But they, you know, they were successful blind buys a couple of them they're gonna have to grow on me um gonna have to let them sit for a little bit but they're fragrances that i am convinced that i will enjoy if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell and follow me on instagram we're gonna put it up here somewhere and i definitely hope to see you in the next one Bye, y'all.